Cool. I think with that we are live. Um, not quite on my. Not oh, quite. No, here we yep. go. Okay, we're live. Well, yeah. hi everyone. Um, thank yeah, you. Hello. Yeah, thanks all for your bids. I was mentally preparing all day to do two players, one controller. With we're, yeah. But uh, thank you all of you for saving me from that and putting me in a different kind of stressful position, one that I'm not quite ready for. So, I am <laughs> uh, Alley Cat, and um, on comms I'll have uh, Lane, who is a. Hello. I am a verifier slash runner of Untitled Goose Game, who is quite inactive, but I exist. Yeah. So Lane is a uh, um, last man any percent, right? Something, something like that, yeah. And I run any percent glitchless normally, but we are here to bring you a hundred percent run. Yes. Um, I was just getting the donuts set up on the side yep. monitor real quick. Um, there have been a few. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few to go through because uh, there was that final push to make Hondo happen. So, um, sorry, Nikosa, you won't be uh, joining me. Oh, I've been spared. Thank you, everyone, for being so generous in pushing Hondo over the line. 2P1C had a commanding lead for a long time. All right. Oh, yeah. And with that, I guess uh, we've got a lot less time buffer for this run than we did for 2P1C. So, <laughs> no pressure. Uh, but I better get to it. So uh, time starts on first honk. So I'll count us in. Three, two, one, honk. Do you want a crowd to join in with honks at times? Okay. <laughs> Honking is the best. Uh, we actually have a category for one honk now, which is slowly getting a bit more uh, traction. Yes, and that honk is okay. just the honk that starts the game. Yes. Um, um, oh, yeah. Nice. One of the there. runners, I believe, was in chat, Laika, so they do a very nice job. Oh, hi Laika! Laika's a really nice member of the Goose Speed running community. Yeah. Okay, so... Before get started and do the bit, do, I should uh, quickly get these donos for 100% out of the way. Yeah, and then we'll talk a little bit about what this game actually is. So, first there's $11.31 from Neo underscore, saying a hundo. Uh, $13.45 from myself, saying last second hundo puss. Push. Yeah. Um, $15 Oops. from Lazy... I'm not going to say that one, Pirate. Goose Game 100%. Um, Shirley giving $10 saying, can't say I understand these speedruns, but I do understand a great cause. Here's my $10 to Beyond Blue and the 100% goose thing. Uh, it was a good cause, don't worry. Uh, $21.62 from Calamar Cat saying, good luck, Ali and Nico. Can't wait to watch these runs. Please put this towards oh, no. the 100% goose incentive. And five dollars and ninety-seven cents from Fire Striker saying thanks for letting me run. Gotta watch two pe two people, one controller. UGG. So, sadly, there's not gonna happen. But thank you for the uh, donation and congrats on your run. It looked like uh, quite fun. I don't get Kingdom Hearts though. <laughs> Cool. So uh, to talk a little bit about uh, Untitled Goose Game, uh, it came out late last year, um, yes. and in it you play as a rather naughty goose. Very um, naughty. Yeah. We've, um, the idea of this game is that you're given a series of tasks that uh, sort of upset things for these villagers, and for the 100% speed run, the idea is that we will do everything on this list, uh, including some tasks that are not presented to us initially when the list first shows. So I'm doing one of those right now. Yes, yes one thing a lot of people. On that oh. cabbage picnic. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, cabbage, yeah. no, no! <laughs> there Once we go. the cabbage gets put down, you'll oh notice that there are... Oh, oh. The bull rush is saving you a second time. I don't know about saving. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go, cabbage. The weeds are very nice. There we go. Yeah. No, the weeds are awful. Okay. Yeah, there are hidden uh, categories within Goose Game that a lot of people don't know when they first play through the game. Um, you have to complete all of those as well as the main objectives and some time trial-y kind of things throughout the run in order to get uh, 
the final prize, which we won't see for a little bit, but hopefully, hopefully Ali gets a good run. Hopefully, yeah. So as Lane hinted at, we are also trying to do some sort of in-level speedrun, sort of. Um, so every zone has seven or eight tasks that we need to complete within seven minutes. So you'll actually see like mid-run resets for this because we need to reset that seven minute timer. Yes, and Ali is running this on the Switch, but it's been found that the Switch has slower loading times. No surprise, but um, some people who run this on the PC or PS4, I think Xbox has one now as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Um, they have faster loading zones, which is better for speed running, but the Switch just feels nice. Yeah, it's quite nice to play on Switch, and uh, I think a lot of people in Australia did actually get to try it uh, at PAX uh, a year or so back. Yeah, because um, House House is a Melbourne developer, so very much they have speed running. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I think a lot of people first sort of associated this with the Switch, and it's quite a nice platform to play it on. I like to. I got into speed running as a lot of other people did by playing the in-level um, little speed runs that do quickly tasks. Yeah. And uh, you know, being able to sort of like mess on that, mess with that on the bus was pretty good. So we're just reaching the end of the first zone here. Oh, so what Ellie's doing now is taking the. Trowel, I believe they're called. Yep. To the shops in order to do both a hidden task and a main task at the same time, which saves time overall. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I will have to redo that main task, but um, doing the hidden task is important. Yeah. So go. usually, what you do on a regular playthrough is just grab the little airplane that you just ran past. But for speedruns, it's just easier to get the farmer to go through, and it also makes him take a bit longer to start cleaning up his stuff, which is better for full runs. Not so much 100%, but definitely glitchless and things like that. So we've just done three hidden tasks, so I've made the groundskeeper buy back his own stuff. Um, we've made the bells go ding, and we tripped the poor boy okay. in the puddle. You really, like, does not deserve this. Actually, something we haven't touched on is that the speedrun community have come up with names for each of these uh, um, NPCs that we use mostly to yell at them. Yes, we have uh, Timmy is the small boy who we don't yell at often unless he doesn't get outside of the, uh, the phone box. Willie, the groundskeeper, because The Simpsons is never timeless. Well, it's um, forever timeless, <laughs> Oh, who else is there? There's Vinny in the bar. We haven't really named anyone else in the bar. They're kind of just old man, post woman. It's like, I think... It Lyca depends on who you it. need to yell at the most. lyca has got a great set of German names for them. Yes, and, Lyca uh, has named everyone, I believe, including the bar woman and everyone else. So, I think a lot of runners them. have their own headcanon names for them as well. Yeah. Um, Definitely. But there's definitely a few that have settled in the community, like Tina and Roger. You'll spend a lot of time yelling at those guys. Oops, I... They yeah, spend a lot of time yelling at each other. Okay, I missed the glasses that I was trying to get from Timmy here, so I just need him to disengage from me so that I can untie his shoelaces again. And we'll give that a second shot. Oof. Poor Timmy. He does nothing wrong, but he gets bullied for an entire run. It's quite sad. It's quite unfortunate. It really is. Well, it is interesting, because if you look into a lot of the little details in the game, it's very easy to sort of to interpret quite a lot of the characters as not quite so undeserving, but Timmy isn't one of them. He's done nothing wrong. Yeah, I think Timmy and the old man are like the most innocent. Now, one of the things we're seeing right now is the interesting pathfinding that these NPCs can sometimes have. So Timmy wanted to go around the uh, broom there. So I just need to chase him into the store. Okay, we're good. Okay, nice. Very nice. Being a game built in Unity, it has some uh, particular quirks that are quite fun to see sometimes. Yeah, at the very start of the run, we we sort of demonstrated um, the basic clipping. Hundo is a nice category because it doesn't require any like super hard clips, but there are a few in there, so you get it's a good 
good level of like um, playing the game normally and okay. Yeah. I thought I had too no early for a moment. Busted. It's uh, just regular any percent. For those who don't know, the current any percent world record I believe is sitting at about two minutes and twenty seconds. No, so, it it was beaten this weekend. Um, it's ooh, now two oh nine. It was verified while I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, yeah. Oh, and for reference, this category that I'm running, although my estimate is uh forty minutes, uh, the world record for this one is twenty seven minutes. So, and it largely no. uses most of the same strats. Um, just does them much more efficiently. Mm. Crazy. The fact that it's down to 209 just blew my mind, what? Yeah, any percent is, uh, and I think they reckon they can get it down to, like, sub two is theoretically possible, but I don't know whether a human wants to do that. <laughs> mm. um, so as I said, um, just talking about, I think, caliber of runners, one of the things I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to do a safety reset. So I push my head through the fence there to trigger the music of the next zone, and that means that when I do this reset, the next zone will um, um, will get the timer started over. So uh, this is Roger and Tina, uh, two of I think the community's favorite NPCs. Honestly, they're very. We um, love to hate them. Yeah. I'm just gonna play this safe. Very annoying, but very fun to toy around with. Oh no, he wants to look at me? Okay, sure. Yeah. Not a very healthy neighbour dynamic. Yes. Um, you can see more of the clipping that's used throughout a lot of the run. Different items have different properties for clipping. Uh, some items being significantly easier than others. Uh, the hat being way easier. I don't think you can really clip the glasses. You, um, yeah, it's, it's hard. Parts. It's not worth it when we need to... Well, when yeah. we can afford to run with one item anyway, so we might as well just uh, Yeah, so just you'll it. see some items used like specifically for clipping. Uh, some runs use the boot right at the start of the level, like throughout the entire thing. Um, the socks in the backyard, I think, are pretty common for clipping. Yeah, that's quite them. nice. And the interesting thing about the sock is that if you hold the sock from the top, it's easier to clip often than if you hold it from the bottom. Mm. So, the, uh, for a long time, the back gardens were quite annoying as they, uh, they run off cycles and trying to figure out how the AI would do like everything because the AI run off like a priority list so if you have three things set in front of them they'll do one at a time no matter how annoying those three things are so Tina's is always reset the fence if it's within her vision and then do something else like I think it's that then cut the hedge yeah something. reset the bell is very high for her yeah definitely um, and then Rogers is just like if you have some uh, one of his items, he'll just like come after you no matter what until you get X distance away from him. Which isn't that far, honestly, but he okay. really does like following you. So I was hoping to get Tina's attention with the soap there, but unfortunately didn't. That's okay. Um, one of the nice things about Hundo is that we actually get to see these gather tasks come into play because, in like, if you were to do an any percent glitch or run, um, each zone you only need to do, um, you need to do all of the tasks except for one. So we usually leave out these long gather tasks um, because they take more time. In 100% we have to do these, so we also have to work around uh, the character priority list because often noticing that these are missing are things that, um, yeah. that will like distract them from other things that we need the NPCs to do. Very smooth. Very smooth there. Hey. Now we'll see that Roger has he's had it with this goose. This aggression will not stand. An example of the priority list here would be if it wasn't for him wanting to do the sign cutscene, he would be getting every one of those items one at a time. It's like taking up so much time and you wouldn't really stop for anything I think unless you were holding another item of his or yeah. I think the bow overrides it 
if yeah. I remember correctly. Um, sometimes when the NPCs are disrupted from their normal priorities, they can also do funny things. Like if I distracted Roger from doing his final task, I might have uh, ruined everything because it might take him a long time to then think about it again. Okay, I'm going to okay. take the vase out this way, and which you might have playing this game casually, not known that that will achieve <laughs> make someone break the fancy pass. It doesn't specify which someone. Yep. And we're going to do our last reset of the run. Hopefully. Hope oh, the, gosh. <laughs> not the practice run 2.0. Yeah. Uh, that was... um. Yeah, that practice run was not good. All right, uh, if there's any time for donations, I'm just going to be dragging some items around. I so am refreshing the page. Is there anything? There is not. Are there any current incentives for the next run or anything like that? There are some bid wars still open, so if anyone wants to type into the uh, chat exclamation mark incentives, there'll be a spreadsheet that comes up. And I think mostly you can bid on some... Oh, I'm, am I doing the right one thing? One of them okay. is pick the protagonist for Summon Night 6. Which I cannot remember when that says. What's scheduled? There we go. I think that is tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, it's tomorrow. It's like at 1 a.m. So yeah, heaps of time. So yeah, get a bid war started on that now. It's uh, zero dollars for Raj to five dollars and sixty-one cents for Amu. I'm going to guess that's how you pronounce that character's name. So it could definitely go either way. Um. There's also a, a Link to the Past file name, because I love, I know everyone loves those. Uh, it's Lonk versus Jeff at the moment, but I'm guessing you can donate for more. Yeah, I think you'll be able to submit other stuff if you want. And yeah. another one is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time file name. So. And I think there are two separate file names that can be bid on, because that Ocarina of Time run is actually going to be a race, I think. Ah, yes. I just saw that, because one is uh, Pog and the other is Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a very nice... Uh... You could do some definite wordplay there, but try and keep it PG. We're running a very nice stream here. Yeah. So how much has been raised so far for Beyond Blue? Almost... Oh my lord, okay. <laughs> uh, $59. Last time I checked it was like 400, oh, 4,000, and jumped. I only checked early this morning, I think. So. Yeah, it's made huge strides today. Um, it's and taking it's a little bit of time to think about that one. So. I probably should have... Yeah, there we go. Um, this is quite nice compared to, say, an any percent glitchless run where you would have to keep the attention... Uh, where you'd have to... Um, carefully manage the old man cycles. I'm not yeah. too worried about him at this point, but he did just sit down, so I want to make sure he stays in that cycle. I'm going to honk at him. There we go. Okay, he's going to stay in the harmonica cycle. That is fortunate. Yeah, because he's thinking about where I am. There's some interesting things with the um, with the with the uh, NPC or the villagers um, aggros. Um, which might not be immediately obvious, but after a few playthroughs you can sort of work out uh, yeah. how to herd them around. Oh, poor old man. Mm. I think he is actually probably the least uh, um, deserving of all of this nonsense. And you do I like... Think I, need runner. Yeah. I think he deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> Ruthless. That's fair. I, yeah, I've seen him. Anyone who's run any percent for this game would understand why, but if you're just doing any other playthrough, it's he's the most perfect person. But no. <laughs> That's fair. Geriatric uh, cinnamon roll too perfect for this world. <laughs> I mm. Now I get to drop the bucket and... Do a little dash. And we're finished with all of the mini speed runs, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. Um, so I've just gotten the complete uh, do quickly. 
So now I'm out of here. So I can actually relax a little bit. This is no longer a speed run. I'm just going to like lose all my time here now on <coughs> messing up. <laughs> Whew, the bin is never kind to you. I'm actually really bad at the bin personally. Yeah, um, so you take the toy boat to get one more hidden task out here. And I think this is the last time you really have to come out here, right? Uh, oh, wait, no, we'll you be back to for the flower. flower. You have to get yeah. the flower. So. so if anyone normally plays this game, so if normally you're supposed to pick that castle apart, right? Well, yeah, instead you can do this. Yes, you take the Timmy. Uh, That's miniature gold. Timmy. Wait. Mini Timmy Mini is Timmy. the best. Uh, there are multiple different ways to float up the castle uh, using different items. The plate can be used in a variety of areas. I think the right side is one of them. Um, Timmy was the one that I think was first discovered um, by someone. And then myself and another runner, I think Yisk, was helping out trying to uh, figure out the specifics and it just works. Yeah, and it's just... actually quite nice the way that that object falls. Um... The way the goose's neck twists to look at it, and then you want to run up the side of the little doll, and yeah, it. But it has quite a different rhythm to a lot of other item hovers. It's like yeah. a duk 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 rhythm, where a lot of the other ones are just spam it. Yeah, there's um, one of the original ways to do any percent was to uh, item hover up into the roof where the vase was broken earlier in this run. Um, and literally what you'd have to do is get into a position and then Mario Party kind of map, like, <laughs> go for it. Um, and yeah, you basically just break your thumb, get to the top, and then lean over and you're through. But we've since figured out they can clip through walls because, uh, Unity is a very good game engine. <laughs> <laughs> so... I noticed there that you sat through the credits, but it is possible to skip them, isn't it? Yeah, if you uh, hit the reset just as you drop the bell into the uh, pit, you do get the achievement and you can reset. But there are a couple of things that I want to have the world remain as they were before um, I hit the credits. So I did not reset the game. Um, one of those things is this area here where we see that the um, publicans are still tidying things up, so it means that I can run through here without having to fight Vinny to leave the pub. Um, and also the hat stays. Yeah, I also believe. there is the hat that I stole from the old man. Uh, there's also the fact that I'm playing on Switch, so a reset on Switch is a bit slower anyway. It is slower to go through the credits and sit through the reset, but all of those things added up. Um, yeah. It makes just... a pretty compelling argument to just play on. Um, the other thing that I did that you would not normally do is I skipped the entirety of the bell return. So normally the bell grab is an epic chase back through the village. All of the villagers that you have already um, Wrong. harassed. Yeah, you take the bell and they all have their chance to try and take it off you. Um, I skipped that and I clipped back through the, uh, through the back of the model village, which did, you know, it did avoid having to deal with all those villagers. It also meant that when I respawned after the credits, I spawned into the model village. So that was quite good um, because it meant that I didn't have to run back there to get the flower that I wanted. Yeah, because the gate that you clipped through would have still been closed. It would have taken quite some time to get back around there. Or maybe yeah. you could have just used the boot, I guess, but... Yeah, a bit annoying. Um, I'm just collecting some flowers right now, so if there are any donations or any plugs we want to make, um, yeah. So, uh, there are no donations, but I might just quickly shout out the other two uh, verifiers slash yeah. moderators of Untitled Goose Game. Uh, Riek, I don't actually know how to say his I think tag. it's Rikelt. Rikelt. I, I, I used to say Rikelt, but I think during the tournament. I heard it I as just, Rikelt. I just dried out uh, Riek, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. uh, as well as Tasselfoot. Both of them are amazing at helping both keep the community, uh, I guess, sane. You can't really not say sane when you're talking about Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> um, but also do runs of the game, especially Tasselfoot. He's run, like, every category oh, that there is. And he's, like, near the top of the leaderboard in every category. It's insane. Mm -hmm. He's, like, insane. His devotion for the game is almost unparalleled. Or actually, maybe unparalleled. Um, 
as well as just the entire community. It's a very nice place. There's a Discord if anyone wants to uh, join. I'm pretty sure you can just search Untitled Goose Game Speedrunning. Yeah, I think you can get there from our speedrun.com leaderboard. So that's at speedrun.com yeah, slash goose. We so. got a good URL there. <laughs> and you should be able to find us from there. This soccer ball was treating me well, but mm. having said that, I think I'm about to jinx it. So let's Re find out. or re -kelt. Okay, there you go. Re recalled or re Okay. I've cool. always typed it, so I've never had to say it. Um, but yeah, no, the entire community is very nice. And if you're interested in running this game, it's usually pretty cheap. Um, it's on almost every <laughs> Sorry, we're laughing here because I actually don't own this game. <laughs> it, it's so cheap that you can uh, run it in a marathon without paying for it. Um, yeah, so... I guess I have to thank Nikosaf for actually buying this game. I made fun of him at the time. I said, oh, you'll play that one evening, then you'll get, you know, then you'll be done with it. And that was true. He did play it for an evening and he was done with it. But I started speedrunning it, so I have about 300 or 400 hours in it now. And I need to remember to, to, to warn Ali every single time I turn my switch on while it's connected to the internet so that she doesn't get booted out of playing on my account on her machine. <laughs> Oh dear, okay, those planks are actually an enemy of ours, Ooh. and I've done a bad job of dealing with them. I didn't think about it, I just went through. Yeah, uh, the ball will collide with oh, these, and no it will make it quite annoying. Though. Nah, it's the box oh. that I'm worried about. Oh, yeah. yeah, later, we'll find out. So yeah, I mean, if you feel sorry for me not owning Untitled Goose Game, maybe uh, put the cost of that game towards Beyond Blue. It's a good cause. Speaking of, there was one donation during our little... Uh, Shout out from Hess giving $21 and 62 cents saying was looking forward to seeing two people one controller run uh, Seeing the one two people one controller run of this, but either way love watching Hong runs. So thank you very much Thanks I Hess I the page on Safari. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're just having some tech fun over here, but that's fine. I'm also having fun pushing this soccer ball around Oh Okay, it, it's pretty much in position now. It should be okay. Yeah. You don't actually want to push this through to where you're supposed to have it yet. You just want to leave it there and then complete a couple last tasks. Yeah. Uh, before it, like, yeah. It's, we're entering endgame, I believe, you'd call yeah. it. Yeah. So we'll return to um, the pub one last time. This is our last time being at the back gardens. Uh-oh, she's seen that. Okay. Oh, I may have put the ribbon a little close. That would... I mean, okay. <laughs> yes, the NPCs do have sight lines, but they have no uh -oh. object permanence. Okay, that's good. Cool. Yes. I love watching clipping in this game. Something about it is satisfying to me. It's just nice to twist around walls. Yeah. Sweet. So now uh, Ali's grabbing the final flower for... Uh, almost. Place. This is our fourth flower. Oh, fourth I'm gonna flower. Just I think it's the last flower then. Sorry, um, I'm going to try and clip through this wall, but it is yes. not being as nice to me as it was in my practice runs. So this there we is, go. Uh, coming back to what I said earlier about there being painful to clip through uh, items. The rose can be good, but sometimes it just doesn't. It, it, has, really it has slightly different characteristics to some of the others. It is a sort of a slow tap versus yeah. some of the other ones. So it is a bit interesting. Every item has its own clipping characteristics. So, it makes okay. it fun. Yeah. Um, once you learn one clip, it's like, I, I understand how clipping works in this game, but then you get to put it into practice with lots of different, uh, yeah. lots of different applications. Okay, so we're going to get our fifth flower here. As well as uh, perform nice with catch. a bow. Yep. Or a ribbon rubber. Yep. So that was a hidden task. That's why I came back here and actually why I did the back gardens as an intermediate thing. I should probably not have gotten Vinny's attention, but we might get away with this, yeah. yeah you're fine. He got trapped on the hat, so that's fine. I just need to grab the hat again and get out. He doesn't actually care about his patron's hat, so I can make a clean getaway. Mm. Yeah, Vinny doesn't care about every item within the pub. He mostly just cares about uh, kitchen utensils and the flower. So the old man doesn't matter to him. Which, uh, <laughs> the oh no, oh no! Oh, oh. oh, okay. As long as we don't tip this whole lot into the canal, we're good, but who knows? It may be on its side in short. Like, yep, there we go, it's on. It's over. 
well. I was a little too eager. That's fine. Um, you may have noticed that the box does move more slowly when it has items in it. So I'm going to load it back up again uh, because we do need to take these two items to back to the the uh, gardens area uh, for our very very final tasks that we're going to be doing. Not too many left. Yeah, we have three tasks left, I think. Uh, so, one, yeah, pal three. Yep, and hopefully we haven't missed anything. Um, we'll find out, I guess. I'm sure someone would have been yelling in the chat from the Goose Discord <laughs> if we had, and we would have missed it. Uh, I have oh, not fact, seen I think any. it is four tasks like, that you have left, yeah. although I'm pretty sure you're ready for all of them. Oh, you're right, there are four tasks, uh, I think. One, two, three... Four, yeah, four, four tasks. Yeah. So, so how do you track of everything? There's so much happening in this game, but it's like so little at the same time because you're literally just slowly walking a box away. <laughs> it's not exactly the most adrenaline-packed section. Oh, I don't know. That gets my oh, heart no! oh, that The box going through like That's that. the cleanest box I've seen in ages. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's going to be bad to me here. There we go. Okay. Hi, I'm a box. Tina's going to block this throw. That's going to be annoying. Oh, and uh, there we go. Perfect. Tina ruining everything. Nope, she hat. got out of the way. That was good. But I do need to catch the hat on its throw. Okay, I'm going to miss this because I always miss it. Oh, hey! Okay, I think now we're all... Oh, soccer time? Soccer time, okay. So Tina is doing the uh, final hidden task. Yay! Thank you, Pitchy. Hey. <laughs> oh, hang on a moment. So I thought we had to do everything on the to-do list. Is that not everything? Oh, oh, you've got a little notification up the top there. Huh. Okay, let's go check that out. But first I'm going to go harass Willy, the groundskeeper. As if he oh, hasn't okay. made his life hard enough already. I see you're running to quickly harass Willy. Uh, there is a big donation from... Ooh. Francis Scobie giving a hundred and seven dollars and two cents. Whoa! As well as another uh, pretty big donation from Sneaky Star Stavros. 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 There you go. Giving twenty-seven dollars and thirty-four cents, saying a purchase for the Hong <laughs> So. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for those donations. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really glad to be uh, able to contribute to, yeah, this event and this cause. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? I'm oh, going to wow. mess up grabbing it, but what is it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. If you're okay. a horrible enough goose, they decide that you deserve a crown. Hooray! All right, so time for this run ends when I get this crown on my head. And it turns out that any villager, when they see the goose, will acknowledge that I am deserving of this crown and put it on my head. And so those manipulations I did earlier were to try and get Willy a bit closer to me. I did slow things down a bit by um, failing to pick up the crown properly. But here we go. Oh. Here we go. And... Oh no, no! <laughs> Alright, here we go. And... Time! Yay. Well done! There we go. So that's Untitled Goose Game. We did everything in the game. Um, I want to give a shout out first to Lane, my... Uh, uh, for jumping on commentary. I think that um, was a PB. I, it felt like a PB. Nothing went too badly. So, uh, yeah. On stream it was 31.45. Oh, that's definitely a PB. My old it PB might have was, been a bit faster. That is like a three minute PB. So, congratulations. Yeah. So all that stressing thinking about two, two players, one controller, sorted that out. Um, yeah, so I want to give a shout out to everyone else in the Goose Game Discord, especially Laika. Um, I saw Rico hanging around today, um, Green Snow Dog. Uh, I'm going to forget people, so I should probably stop There's listing names. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, and uh, a special shout out to my friend Palette, who actually kept me from trying Hundo for a long time because she showed me how fun... Uh, any percent glitchless could be. So, thanks everyone. Um, yeah, it's been really fun. We're going to go to an intermission as we set up for the next run. And uh, that's going to be Nikosa playing uh, product number three. Yes, uh, don't go anywhere, folks. It's, um, yeah, a heckin' fun game.
All right, see you again soon.